Before she'd sign with Arista and close out 2022 on a high note by appearing on stage in a sold out concert in her hometown, hip hop's fastest rising new star Lola Brooke was born Chinese Thomas on February 1st in a year that seems to be up for debate. A lot of people seem to think she's 32, which I gotta be honest, had me reacting like she did when faced with that same question in a recent interview. And while Lola continues to play coy with the exact year of her birth, she's at least revealed that she's not yet in her 30s. As a kid, Brooke grew up around Tompkins Avenue in the Brooklyn neighborhood known as bed -Stuy. There, she spent her summers hanging out with her friends on the back porch, taking part in some delicious cookouts and occasionally chilling on the corner by her favorite pizza place. Not that everything about growing up there was perfect, mind you. After all, sometimes things could get quite dangerous on the streets, as she explained to Brooklyn Magazine. Even though it gets crazy with violence and things like that, for some reason as kids, us growing up out there, we get to overlook it because there were so many other things that we could focus on. But at the end of the day, we always had to look over our shoulders. Growing up on the same streets that formerly produced hip hop icons like Lil' Kim and Foxy Brown filled Lola Brown with a certain sense of inherent confidence. And by that, I mean she used to wake up each morning with a feeling deep inside the pit of her stomach that she was put on this earth to accomplish something special. The only question was, what was she here to do? Then at eight years old, she found the answer, music. Lola wasn't even a teenager yet when she first began using words as a creative outlet to express herself after catching 50 Cent's classic Wankster music video on television. She explained the massive impression it made on her to pop sugar, telling them, that's when I fell in love with rap. It was so New York, it was the visuals. I was like, wow, I wanna do that too. I just knew I wanted to be a hip hop dancer or something dealing with hip hop, just due to him. He made it feel so fun and free. Further inspired by other favorites like Missy Elliott, Eve, and Meek Mill, Lola became so sure of her course in life but during a visit to her grandmother's home in Birmingham, Alabama one summer, she turned to her grandma and promised that one day she was gonna be a rapper. That moment now lives on in infamy in her family, even though according to Lola, she barely remembers it having happened. To help her accomplish her dreams, Lola's mom would bring her daughter home journals to write in from the local 99 cent store, and she'd use those as a means to chronicle her feelings as often as possible. Eventually, those journal entries transformed into poetry poetry, which in turn gave way to lyrics in junior high as Lola found new and novel ways to express her emotion. Once Lola began dabbling with creating her first songs in high school, her friends all expressed how much they enjoyed her work. Much to her surprise, in fact, they encouraged her to keep at it. So Lola took the next step on her journey towards accomplishing her goals by hitting the New York City freestyle circuit. All of your favorite rap artists have to start somewhere, and for Lola Brooke, it was her name. Back in high school, Lola used to wear her hair in ponytails and her classmates would comment upon this look by referring to her as Lola Bunny from the hit 90s animated film Space Jam. Apparently, Lola not only had no problem being compared to the Looney Tunes most curvaceous character, but she embraced the nickname and made it her own by combining the name of Lola with Brooke, which is of course short for the city she was born in, Brooklyn, New York. With her stage name effectively taken care of, next came Lola's frequent appearances on New York's freestyle circuit. While honing her craft in the underground scene, Lola met a rapper named Bleezy, who suggested she swing by the studio to collaborate on a song he was recording. So Lola showed up, met the guys in his crew, otherwise known as Team 80, and never really left. In fact, Lola then signed to Team 80 in 2016 and with their assistance took the first real steps towards establishing herself as an up and coming artist. The first real impact Lola Brooke made on the rap game was with the release of a freestyle track simply titled 2017 Flow, a joint that Lola had written while committing commuting to what was then her day job, working as a residential aide at a local Brooklyn shelter. Brooke had no idea that track would find success, so when it did, it left her in something of a conundrum. She desperately wanted to continue pursuing music and take advantage of this sudden exposure, but her day job was getting in the way. That's when her mom came to the rescue with a simple piece of advice. She told Lola to quit her job. Not only that, Lola's mom promised her daughter that if she ever found herself in need of some financial assistance, her mom would help out. All she wanted was for Lola to pursue her dream. Success might not have happened overnight from that point forward, but with the support of her family, Brooke got more serious about music than ever before. And she began churning out further hits like Not The Same, Cash Out, and Options, all of which found traction, but never broke her into the mainstream. Then in 2021 came the moment Lola had been waiting for when she dropped her viral drill hit, Don't Play With It. This track was such a smashing success that it had artists like Meek Mill and Cardi B throwing Lola 
people a shout outs on social media. And just like that, her name was circulating in the mainstream like never before. The question then became whether or not Lola Brooke could roll all of the good vibes from 2021 into the next year and build on things from there. As important as 2021 would prove to be for Lola Brooke, 2022 became even more momentous. She not only dropped further standout tracks like On My Mind and Gator Season, she also capped the year off with her latest smash hit, Here I Come. That song served as something of a fresh reintroduction, and since then, she's appeared in numerous 2023 artists to watch list. While she's taking all the time necessary to enjoy all this success, Brooke still believes that she hasn't hit her peak quite yet. She described Why Not to Pop Sugar, telling them, I'm on the verge of it right now. I feel like people might feel like I had my breakthrough already, but when I'm able to take care of my family, that's my real breakthrough. Part of that breakthrough, I assume, will be her upcoming studio album, a project she's been working on for a while, but one that doesn't have a release date or even a title yet. Simply put, Lola isn't going to rush the process and she is a firm believer that when her audience really wants to hear her album, they'll let her know by demanding it. In the meantime, Lola got to close 2022 out on an absolute high note when she was brought out by Future to perform as a special guest to a sold out Barclays Center in the middle of her hometown. And in the early stages of 2023, she officially signed with Arista, which is a record label under the Sony Music Entertainment umbrella. So something tells me her debut project is closer than ever to being an actual reality. But whatever happens next, Lola Brooke is going to make sure that she appreciates every moment. It's taken her quite a while to get where she is today, and she knows that she still has a lot more to accomplish. But she's excited at the prospect of her career in music still just getting started, and her fans should have a lot to look forward to in the years to come. All right, everyone, that's going to bring this latest updated edition of Before They Were Famous to a close. Thanks for watching our newest video, and before you head out, consider answering the following question. If you wanted to quit your job to pursue your dream, how supportive would your parents be of this decision? Let me know if they'd have your back like Lola's mom had hers in the comments down below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications to never miss a video. If you'd like to check out a few more videos on some of your favorite celebrities, be sure to search for our recent looks into the lives of the Pink Sauce Lady and Pooh Shiesty. My name is Kara, filling in for Michael, and I will see you all in another video. Bye.